All right, so is physical silver an investment? Is it savings or is it something else? And although that distinction may seem arbitrary, I'm gonna show you why it's important to understand what role physical silver can play in your overall financial health. And I'm gonna tell you guys where I stand on this issue. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna to talk to Clay, who's the owner of Main Street Coin here in Hyde Park in Cincinnati. I'm gonna get his take on how he views physical metals being a savings, investment, or something else. So um, stick around. And very quickly before we get started, just wanna let you guys know I've slashed the prices on all the merchandise in my merch store. Uh, I don't know how long that's gonna last, just trying to build some interest in that store. So if you wanna see what those changes look like, I'll leave a link in the description, go check it out. time we were in here clay was kind of uh, light on the constitutional silver he's got um customers in the store today so um we're gonna do this uh business as usual okay so today i want to talk a little bit about this idea of um silver physical silver or physical metals uh being investment or savings or something else I would think, in my opinion, it would be more savings than investment. And I would think of it that way because, you know, in the fractional reserve banking system, I think we're always constantly obsessed with taking our money, taking our labor, and turning it into more. And I think part of that is because in the back of our mind, we know that the currencies that we use are losing value all the time. So you better invest it if you want to keep your purchasing power. So. Gold and silver, I guess, could be an investment, but to me, they're more pure money. A case could be made for either. Yeah, I think I agree with you. I mean, that's kind of where I stand on it. I mean, I know uh, in the past, I kind of looked at silver a little bit as investment, and that was kind of a bad idea personally because I was expecting silver to behave a certain way because, you know, investments are supposed to give you some type of active income or at least some anticipation of, um, greater return than what you put in there. Yes. And so I had to change that perspective personally because I had to realize that, that physical metals, physical silver is really a way to protect my hard earned earnings. It is. You know, and, and once I got a, 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 I'm sorry, go ahead. And the thing is too, I, you know, a lot of stackers are always thinking about the weight that they have. Not necessarily right. what it's worth in euros or dollars or yen today. How much weight is there? You know, that's a really important view, I think, to take long term when you're saving gold and silver. For me, when I was first started stacking, I was a little cautious about investing, you know, stocks, that kind of thing, because, you know, I, I know how risky that can be. And when you're, you know, just starting out, you don't know a whole lot. You want to be as safe as you can. And so I knew that physical silver was about the safest way I could go as far as a place to put my money that would be safe. And once I built that up, once I built up a pretty nice base of savings with physical metals, then I could be a little more risky with my investments because I had a little, you know, I had a little more of a cushion in case things went. You know, Absolutely. I mean, you know, one of the great things about gold and silver is there's no counterpart risk, right? Because every time we go through a bank to make an investment or use a sovereign currency or buy a bond, there's always counterparty risk. There's something that can happen along the chain that can blow things up that don't really have anything to do with what you bought or sold. So in that sense, gold and silver are very unique assets. And Absolutely. They, they just don't have counterparty risk. That's that, and that's, that's, I think, is what the appeal is for long-term stackers. Because we know that we're locking in value now. So, And this is my own personal view. Is if, even if silver, let's say, goes to... Ten dollars an ounce again. Even if that happens, my silver will still be a positive tool for whatever's going on. Yes, because I think yeah, go ahead. It's very plausible in that situation that silver and gold would retain just as much purchasing power relative to the currency. That Absolutely, this is kind of how this works. It's not going to do that in a bubble. No, no. That it, you know, the entire economy is going to reflect 
that dip. Yeah, you don't want to see the prices of other things. Absolutely. Going forward, <laughs> silver still dollars an ounce. Absolutely, and that's exactly how I look at it. Well, I appreciate your perspective, uh, Clay. I see you kind of busy today, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep you. Uh, this is what I'm gonna get today. I'm gonna get ten dollars uh, face in constitutional silver. Uh, because you know you got a pretty good supply today, but that doesn't mean it'll it be goes here. Fast. Yeah. <laughs> it might not be here for the rest of the day. Yeah. This might this could go in an hour from now. I believe that eventually you won't be able to get it. <laughs> you know, it may not happen in my lifetime, but I mean, they, you know, it, it's being used. People are buying it, not selling it as often as they were before, and so that's gonna that's gonna mean that the demand is gonna continue to grow, and you know, it's gonna deplete the supply. And that's my own personal opinion. Anyway, this is what we're going to buy today. Clay, like I said, appreciate your time. Larry's off today. He's uh, he's uh, on vacation, enjoying his family life. And, um, you know, we wish him well. And uh, hopefully he bring back some good stories for us. I'm sure he will. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Clay. All right, so there you have it. And let me apologize real quick for all of the background conversations that was going on while we were having our conversation. I mean, it is an active coin shop, and today was particularly busy. As you can see, Clay, he kind of walks that line between thinking that, uh, you know, silver, physical silver can be an investment, seen as an investment, and it also can be seen as savings. He just sees it basically as money, and I, I agree with that. I'm a little more specific about what, how I believe physical silver is. I don't believe that it is investment. And if you look at it as an investment, in other words, if you're looking for a return on your, on the money that you put in there, if that is your motivation for buying silver, thinking that it's going to return you more than what you put in there, I think that you're going to be disappointed, at least in the short term. Um, I think silver should be viewed more as savings. And like I said in the, in the in the piece here, I look at it like this. I needed a core of savings. I needed a core of solid, well-protected savings first before I got into more investing. And once I built that base, then I could you know, be a little more risky, take a few more chances with some of the um, investments because if you invest at all, you know that the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward, but also the bigger to fall if things don't go the way it's supposed to. So before I got into that kind of stuff, which I do, which I invest, I do have stocks, I do continue to invest. But before I did all that, before I started to invest heavily, I had to have that base of security and physical silver provided that for me. All right, so this is $10 face that I got today from Clay down at uh, Main Street Coin. This brings my total so far to $72.25, which you guys know my goal is $200 face by the end of the year. So I got a, I got a little ways to go. My three nines fine silver, I'm real close to that, 250 ounces. I got that big bounce from buying that 100 ounces from Troy a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. And so I'm real close on that, but I'm not going to stop. More good content coming up. I'm going to bring you guys up to date in a later video on exactly where my progress is. But anyway, we're just going to keep this silver train rolling. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.